Good evening, Urban Defense. Now, I have a little bit of a special segment here for you. Um, as you're going to notice when I uh, upload episode 6, which is our spinach pumpkin and I fill it um, stroganoff, that um, we had our very first Earth and uh, uh, failure uh, with the pasta that I made. So the pasta actually didn't come out. And so what I've done is I've decided, as I promised to my Earth and the fans, is that I will keep this footage as raw and unedited as possible. Because one of the things I believe in is, and, and, and this doesn't happen in TV, when you watch episodes, uh, maybe in MasterChef, in MasterChef they, they show you where things can go wrong. Um, but a lot of the time when somebody's teaching you a recipe, they don't um, show you when it goes wrong. So in the case of the Open to Chef, I will keep it honest and true. And uh, I myself as a amateur chef, um, I am not perfect either. And that's the whole idea around this uh, show, is to be able to show you guys that everyone has mistakes in the kitchen, things go wrong, you know, it's not as easy as it looks, but over practice, over time, you can make, just train yourself to make fantastic home-cooked meals. Now, so, as I said, in the stroganoff dish that I did for episode 6, we had a bit of a failure with the pasta. I have gone back and I've reflected on what I did over the episode and I have realized I've added a little bit too much oil. The food processor that I've used is a new one so it's definitely um, catered for more of a, a rough so that the, the blade that I was using inside of it uh, may not have been the best choice. Um, it kind of made it very crumbly. Um, so I've reflected back I've actually gone and um, done some testing. So another thing that I, I have a habit of doing is with the Earth and the Chef episodes is just to go by my mind. I've done some of these recipes over and over again, so I know in my head how it they, they come about. Um, and so again, similar to the pasta, I've made pasta before and I've had it come out great. Um, but yeah, just in the case of obviously with an episode of the Open to Chef, we went wrong and we ended up using packet pasta, which is also okay. As I established in the episode that we did last night, it is okay. But after that uh, mishap that we had with the pasta, my brain got thinking and I thought to myself, I will be honest and true to my uh, Open to fans and show you that again, even somebody like myself who loves to cook and has a passion for it and does it all the time, can make mistakes, and I thought to myself, well, this is going to lead to something where I can also not only save my uh, <laughs> my, my dignity um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, my embarrassment, um, but I can also show you that it is possible to do what we were actually trying to do in, in episode 6, which was make homemade pasta. So, I would like to introduce Earth and the Fans to the very first episode of the Earth and the Chef recipe rescues series so welcome to the recipe rescue series uh it's a new idea that i've formed up and it will allow me to help with just recollecting back or re-evaluating when uh, an issue goes wrong in an earth into chef episode and how we can actually focus on it a little bit more and um get the result that we're actually looking for in the very first episode so today's rescue is all about the homemade pasta that did not come to plan in uh, episode six so let's get started guys i've reviewed my uh, recipe in my head and, and i've worked out again as i said wrong equipment i'm actually going to do this dough by hand now in the bowl so i'm actually going to do it by hand um and also i added too much olive oil so i've actually worked out my measurements um to Get exactly the consistency that we want and how I did that was I actually have already recreated this dough which is in the fridge resting right now and we're going to do it from scratch and then we will roll the one that has been resting so another thing that 
should have been possible in the Earth and the Chef episode was the time that it was allowed to sit and rest, which is 30 minutes after you've needed it for 10 minutes. The episodes go for about an hour, so there should have been plenty of time to roll cut and cook the pasta afterwards. But enough trying to save my uh, my dignity here. Let's get started on just reevaluating, reassessing, and redeveloping our pasta so that we can make some beautiful homemade pasta that we can enjoy with our dish recipe. Um, so I'm going to upload this recipe rescue um, with episode six. And in the sort of spiel that I'll put in there, I will uh, let you guys know that there is uh, two episodes to watch to form the whole entire dish. Um, but you know, that's how it is. It's, it's the truth. Um, I wrecked it. Well, not wrecked it. I made a mistake in the kitchen and it happens on with everyone on a daily basis, recipes can go wrong. Um, but don't beat yourself up about it, just keep trying over and over again, and um, you know, just keep going at it. Alright, so let's get started, guys, on remaking our pasta. So, the recipe consists, or my recipe, shall I say, of two cups of plain all purpose flour four eggs, a tablespoon of olive oil, and I bought more olive oil. You'll notice in uh, episode six, I ran out of olive oil, went to the shop and bought more today, um, and a teaspoon of salt. All right, so we're gonna get started with our two cups of flour into our big metal bowl here. And another thing that you would notice as well, um, is this beautiful pasta machine. So in episode six, uh, I was unable to get uh, a pasta machine because I had one put aside and then it was sold on me by the people. Um, but I went out today and bought the pasta machine because I really wanted to roll this through a pasta machine for you. So I'm uh, really quite excited to actually finish this and put a nice touch on it. So these are, I'm using a half cup right now. So I'm just going to do four, four of these to the equivalent of two cups. Right, into my little bowl here. My teaspoon of salt. So again, these are half teaspoons. So I'm just going to put two. All of my uh, one cup and one teaspoon and tablespoon uh, measurement items are in the dishwasher right now. So um, we've got our half a tablespoon um, and we're just going to get our extra virgin olive oil. So one tablespoon. Lastly, our four eggs. So this is the fun part. The fun part is when we go to mix with our hands. So we really want to combine everything together, right? We want to make sure the egg yolks, break them up first a little bit while they're sitting on top. Break them up with your fingers or a fork if you're not a fan of touching egg, but uh, you know, you are going to get your hands in here to uh, form your dough. So good luck to you. <laughs> uh, and just start by combining it. So move your hand around the bowl, right? You want to mix it in nice and good. Push your hand right against the metal bowl so that you get that flour all the way from the edge. And then squish your hands through so that it breaks the egg up into the mixture as well. 
Now, this though does require about 10 minutes of kneading. So you want to combine it pretty well in the bowl first before you take it out. Otherwise it's going to fall apart. But I found pulling away from uh, lots of dough that's easy to fingers. Um, but just clump it together. You want to be able to combine and there will be mixture left over in the bowl. So you want to make sure that you're pushing that in as you knead it down so that you collect all the flour and the dry material dry ingredients material. I don't know if material is really the word for it. Dry ingredients that are left in the bowl. of that mixture as you can. Just push it into the dough. Like squeezing it as you turn it every time. You can get a lot of that air out as well. Right, we're going to take it out once it's uh, sort of come together pretty well. We're going to place it on the bench. So I'll rinse my hands off. at our dough so my hands are a little bit wet which is fine if you find that your dough is too dry for whatever reason that you may have added too much flour maybe um, you can always put some water just a little bit of water in there to help it come together now this dough much better than the one that I did in uh, episode 6 of the Equinder Chef uh, so I'm so glad that I can redeem myself Oh no, the handle to run past the machine. So just keep going, give this a really good knead, keep turning it over, pushing it down to combine it, but also bring out that air and just give it a great knead. Now, once you've uh, sort of, your, your dough is ready to go, this must be wrapped in cling wrap and put in the fridge. For a good 30 minutes. Right. You want it to have that time to rest. Now you can see, I've, uh, you may not be able to see the video actually, but I've actually, uh, I don't have anything to hang my pasta on once I rolled it, so uh, I thought I'd be a bit of a engineer and uh, actually took four wine glasses and sat a wine rack on top of it um, which will allow me to hang my pasta in between. So I thought that was a little bit innovative of me uh, to come up with that. So we're going to roll some pasta and we're going to hang it up. So this dough is just coming along lovely. see you can tell that it's a good dough because as I'm kneading it I'm not getting any well a little bit but not getting you know that stickiness to my hand my hands are still quite dry which is beautiful so yeah definitely added way too much olive oil I think last night 
must have been the beer. <laughs> no, my blame on the alcohol. The beer was good though. That was the uh, Ether Brewing Black as Your Heart IPA. It was absolutely delicious. Highly recommend. So, and so there we have, I reckon, a really nice, like, elastic ball. Right, you can pull it apart, it's quite stretchy. And this is the consistency that we want to get. And I'm not even pushing that hard, to be honest, on this dough. It's just, you know, coming along nicely. Alright, so, obviously, as I said earlier, uh, at the beginning of the episode, that I had already prepared uh, a dough earlier, which is good. Um, so I'm just going to wrap this one. Put this one in the fridge. And we're going to get out our dough that I made earlier. So, here we have, ladies and gentlemen, our pre made pasta dough. It's been sitting for about 30 45 minutes. And you can see that it's just. Look at that. Right, that's the sort of elastic stretchiness that we're looking for in our dough. So, oh, absolutely beautiful. Now, So as I said, bought a pasta machine today, so I'm super excited to give it a shot. Yeah, like I said, um, I have previously rolled with a rolling pin and, and cut it with a knife. Um, and I used to own a pasta machine. Uh, so this is, this is actually a bit exciting for me as well. So. So I just want to get nice and flat to run through the pasta machine. Chini because that's the style of pasta that I wanted to use last night in the Air the Chef episode. Uh, but unfortunately, I did not have any fettuccine packed at pasta in the oven. Uh, so, you know, spaghetti it was. Alright, guys, so give this the last couple of good old pushes and uh, let's get ready to go. So, Three settings on this uh, pasta machine. This is an El Dante pasta and pizza roller. Um, so we've got flat lasagna sheets, we've got spaghetti, and we've also got fettuccine. Um, and uh, let's see how we go, hey? need a little bit more. We also may have to put a little bit of flour to help it roll through to stop it from sticking. Oh, I'm not going very much up with this. Oh, hang on. 
helps if I turn off the uh, dirt vent. Again, it's been a while since I've had a blaster machine. That would explain why it was coming out so thin. I forgot to set the thickness of the blaster. Okay, third attempt lucky yet. So much for a recipe rescue. I will say the dough is pretty good. <laughs> That's better. Much better. to cut this. I'll actually roll this through again. So there's our first piece. Right, I'm going to recall our dough. You can cut it, obviously, beforehand as well. Cut it probably better if you cut it first before you put it through the machine. Let's, uh, let's cut this into some smaller bits. Well, we're not having very much luck with this uh, roller, are we? It is, uh, it is, uh, shredding my pasta dough. You tools. This is better. Kind of. No. I think our attempt of uh, rolling this is going to take a couple of attempts, because we Essentially, we're also combining more of the ingredients together as we push it together through the rolling machine. So, keep that in mind as well. So, that's a... Uh,
good roll. Flatten it out. Again, this process can actually take a bit of time, to be honest. I'm going to continue this, but what I will do is uh, I'm going to take this first sheet that we did. And I'm just going to run it through this fettuccine setting. some beautiful fettuccine, that nice long stem, homemade pasta, so you can hang it over your uh, little homemade pasta rack, or you can just really hang it over the side then, right, as long as it's sitting There we have it guys, okay look at that, I just pulled that apart, that's looking beautiful. So the dough is right, it probably could do with a little bit more kneading, um, but it's all, but the one thing about pasta is that you practice over time and you'll be able to get the consistency right, um, and uh, then you'll be able to get the dough right, and once you get comfortable with using the machine. So, again, this is a new machine. You can see that this pasta is coming out lovely. It's just pulling apart. Right. Which means the dough is just. The dough is right. So, we got the dough right. And we're just going to get the rolling technique right. And another thing that you can do is that it comes out of the machine. Hold it. It's <laughs> one thing I just didn't do then. So, we're going to keep on going with this. Now this pasta, once you've actually made it, 8 to 10 minutes in boiling water with a pinch of salt. That's all that you need. Now, Actually rolling this dough quite thin. So we might be able to run this straight through the fettuccine side. Let's see how we go, hey. So. Oh, there we go. Should have just done that from the start instead of trying to run it through the lasagna setting. How long that is, it's delicious. There we go. So there is a lasagna sitting on here. Um, I probably need to play around with 
the settings to find the consistency that I would be looking for to get this exact same result. But as you can see, the dough that we made was a lot better than the dough that I had in episode 6. And that was the idea around this uh, recipe rescue series. So I've just had a pretty chill uh, session right now showing you guys that you can make pasta dough. And I'll go over the recipe again, ladies and gentlemen. So we have four eggs, two cups of all purpose plain flour, a tablespoon of olive oil, and a table, uh, sorry, teaspoon of salt. So, again, really straightforward just to make your own pasta. And this is like, it's the perfect thickness, and it will only take eight to ten minutes to cook. And the fun part is now pulling it apart. <laughs> Look at this. This is brilliant. And the cool thing is I now have another set of dough in my fridge that I can use to practice with this new machine of mine. The other one that I had years ago was not as good as this one. So may take some getting used to. Um, this one I bought from Robin's Kitchen today. It cost me, I think, uh, $79, which I thought was pretty good. And it's 180 mil as well. So you get two different sizes of pasta machines, um, primarily 150 mil and 180 mil. So there we have it, guys. You can see here that I'm just forming my own fettuccine. And yeah, again, pasta can take a bit of practice. Um, so like I said, normally I hand roll and just cut um, really thin strands, but I really wanted to use the pasta machine today. And it's, it's pretty simple. So uh, thank you for coming and watching the very first episode of Recipe Rescues. This episode will be going up alongside episode six so that you can see that you can make your own pasta. Um, but again, I always say it is okay to use packet pasta as well. And the flavors that are in the spinach and pumpkin uh, and I feel it stroganoff. Why do I keep having mental pains with stroganoff? The stroganoff that I made last night is absolutely beautiful. The sauce is thick. It's just, it really combines well. Um, so thank you for joining me here at the Open to Chef for our very first episode of Recipe Rescues. And um, it may not be the last, um, but this could form into anything. Like I would love to show you basic things like this, uh, like making your own pasta. So Recipe Rescues was just to save episode six. And uh, you know, like I said to you guys, I'm gonna keep it as raw and unedited as possible. Um, but I will redeem myself in the Recipe Rescues episodes. So thank you for joining me tonight, Open to Fans, and I look forward to the next episode that I'll be planning uh, this week. And recipe sheets from episode six will go up on the weekend as well. And I'll also do a recipe rate sheet for this pasta dough that I've made here. Uh, so thank you again for joining me, ladies and gentlemen, and I look forward to seeing you then.